Hello everyone, Violet here. Today we're gonna do a witchy home tour video. I thought I'd start in the backyard if we could check out our bamboo structure here and our garden. And we'll make our way inside. We have kind of a, a wild garden out here. It's sort of, uh, it's a bit more free flowing than a lot of gardens, probably. Um, we've got this high fence because we have a family of like 10 to 15 deer who come into our backyard through this forest. I'm going to zoom in to this forest back here so you can see. Okay, let's see. Can you see the dark forest over there? Anyway, we've got an incredible amount of deer that live there. It's a, it's actually a pretty far-reaching forest that our backyard backs up onto. And over here is my favorite. This is a huge mulberry tree. So we save old um, wild blueberry bags and go, you know, picking, berry picking in the backyard. We've got mulberries here. We've got other raspberry trees. We've got our baby swing that we found at a at a garage sale. <laughs> and um, this is really cool. This is the building next to our house. I'll kind of go by and you can see what it is as we head to the front door. Um, but yeah, our backyard has raspberry bushes. They're pretty incredible. A lot of them are back over here. The mulberries, we found morel mushrooms as well. So this building next to our house is actually an art studio. We can kind of peek in the window here. Some of the awesome stuff that happens in there. Really cool art studio. Yes, and here we've got this little spot with our bird feeder in front of our house. This is the four leaf clover patch. I mean, it's a normal clover patch, but I find so many four leaf clovers here. It's really magical. I'm about to put some lockets on the Etsy store. See if you can spot any as we pass by. And then we'll go on into the front door. All right. So here we are in the entryway. Um, there is Princess Catherine the cat in Arthur's uh, uh, carrier. So here's some things I like to have ready to take out with me. I've got my lace parasol and floppy hat for the sunshine, spending time outside. And we've got this kind of decorative altar space. Um, here's some things we found in the backyard, like these antlers and feathers. Um, this is my besom. It's a, a cinnamon stick broom that's here at the front for protection. That's why it's by the front door. We've also got some crystals. This area has a lot of quartz. So these are actually some crystals I found in this area. Um, here's a fossil. <laughs> We've even got some divining rods. Those are my husband's. And here we've got a bird's nest. This fell off the porch at some point, so it was no longer in use, but I thought it'd be nice to keep. And this mugwort bundle, basically to use for cleansing if I feel like um, when I come home, if I want to burn it, if I feel like I need to cleanse my energy from wherever I was, that's why it's also in the front. You can hear my baby, you'll see him in a second. But also in this entryway, I painted um, these stars here, as well as the constellations. Um, actually like looked at a star map to paint them and then added these twinkly star lights. Um, we also have the spot for hanging herbs that we want to dry. And there's the cat tree that overlooks the windows. We also use the washer and dryer as a changing table, as you can see. All right, so as we go in, this is our kitchen. And there's Mr. Baby playing with his ball. Hi, Mr. Baby. <laughs> um, all right, so here in the kitchen, we've got the spots for teacups. Um, normally I have them all along there, but as you can see, I've used a bunch of them. There's a little spot for grinding herbs. This is the um, 
cabinet that's basically all for tea and coffee supplies and tinctures. It's fun things like that. Over here, I have my kitchen witch spoon. It's got this pretty little kitty on it. Berkey filter, super important. Next to the money tree. Here I've got one of my little sculptures. It's a, uh, it's a goat with agate crystal fairy wings. So that's pretty fun. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Baby. And over here is our system of jars. Basically, we've um, got these jars. There are four rows deep. This is our map of the jars, but we put bulk supplies in it. The ones we use the most are at the front. And then obviously we've got this map here so that you can get a uh, stool and pull out whatever you need. We've also got bulk spices here. So that's our, um, our effort towards a more zero waste-ish sustainable kitchen. And here we are in the living room. There's my handsome husband reading his book. Hello. Hello. And uh, we've got music here. We've got my husband's two basses. And on this side, we've got sort of a cluster of music. We've got my violin, mandolin, and ukulele. And lace curtains that look out the backyard. I love lace curtains. <laughs> There's a little pot with a crystal in it. It used to have a succulent, so maybe it needs another succulent. And over here, we've kind of got another altar type display. Um, up here, we've got these fairy tale paintings and these two old violins with some bows. This is a sculpture I made. It's inspired by a selkie. So we've got the seal that the woman is holding and we've got some crystals. And this is a jar for cat whiskers. So that's pretty magical. <laughs> yeah. More crystals. And here's a mermaid crown that I made. And a little Shakespeare book. Then up here we've got some more sculptures that I made. We've got this sort of gnome figure walking through mushrooms. And this lady with them, um, she also has agate fairy wings, you can see. And this elephant with agate wings. And beautiful Mr. Baby. Um, up here we've got pots that when we're growing herbs or sprouts, they go up there. So currently, obviously, we're not growing any, but um, we were a couple weeks ago growing some sprouts and at different times has different things. We've got some quartz crystals in between them. These again were found in this area and a moon phase calendar. And right here we've got another sort of altar space. Um, we've got this angel here in the middle and candles. Um, this is for incense. This is my travel altar actually in this little treasure box that I take with me when traveling. That's pretty nice. And now let's head upstairs. Bye living room, bye kitchen. All right. Going upstairs. All right, so here is the upstairs. At the end of the hall, we've got this um, Edison cylinder machine of my husband's. This is another sculpture that I made. It's of a merman, as you can see. This is our witchy bedroom, I guess you could say. Some flowers from when we got engaged, some tapestries. Here, I'll show you my closet. I've got my collection of magical books up here at the top of my closet. Kind of see an overview as we pass by. I have some magical pouches here for different purposes. Um, like we've got dreams up at the top and going clockwise we have love, healing, manifestation for money, abundance, home protection, and positivity. I made the bed covers out of a tapestry. Um, 
over here. I've got some flower crowns. I have artwork at every corner of the house that's for protective purposes, so that's one of them. And this is my bedside table here. I have, um, I have my Kindle. I'm reading The Vine Witch right now. I have um, a mugwort dream pillow, goddess figure my friend made me. I have this sunstone crystal. So I choose a crystal each night to set on my nightstand, and this was the one from last night. I also choose a mala bracelet to pray with each day, and this is, um, or to chant with, rather, in meditation. This is the moon phase one, since today is the new moon. I also have an organite pyramid to help with, um, like, a electromagnetic, electromagnetic, magnetic, oh my goodness, frequencies, and that sort of thing, like radio waves, and just like general protection. I've got my, my Harmony Nice necklace with rose petals in it says if you harm none do what you will and uh, it's got the mushrooms on there so this is very meaningful to me with my um, Himalayan pink salt heart lamp that's my bedside table got some more tapestries here I'll turn off the turn off that air conditioner so you can hear better this is my altar space this is where I sit and meditate and practice. Um, I still need to change the cloth. This cloth is still for Leo, but basically I put the cloth in whatever moon phase, like for the new moon and full moon, whatever element the, new, the moon phase is in. So this is fire, but I need to change it to earth. I've got my crystals, incense. I've got an altar tour video, but you know, this is just gonna be a quick overview. I've got my prayer jar, an ancestor jar, just a main white candle for the middle. This is like a visualization jar. I put in here little fragments of shells. Uh, I've got a crystal in there. I've got some sand from a group mandala manifestation exercise that I did. If I hold each fragment of shell, visualize something and put it in there, sort of like wishes. I've got another mugwort bundle for cleansing. And this is also where I put my matches, obviously. Got some more mala bracelet, bracelets. I actually make those, they're in my Etsy shop. Over here I've got my yoga mat. I've also got my other exercise like bar. I've got my ballet slippers, vegan ballet slippers in there. And um, actually this is my new way of, of keeping my um, oracle cards and tarot cards. So I've got them all here as long as, sorry, as, as well as this um, drawer where I have an altar cloth. I've got my crystal ball. I've got a pendulum. I've got other like stones, like rune stones, that sort of thing. And uh, so basically other divination stuff. And this whole thing I can pick up and bring into my studio, which you'll see in a second, for when I'm doing live stream tarot readings. I've got this next to me in there, so but I can also pick it up and have it next to my altar. So that's really nice. We've got this tapestry. And up here we've got two other altars. I'll show you them. This is one, it's based off of the elements. And uh, so I've got, you know, water, I've got the shell, earth, in the different directions. You know, this is north side here. I've got this selenite wand. I've got this feather for air. Um, back here I've got a wand for fire. This is the wand that I made. Oops, <laughs> I just dropped that but I'll find it. Um, I've got little angel amulets in each corner for each, each element and a chalice and blade. You know, I've got um, Jesus and Mary here. I've also got Buddha and my bell. And then I've got this cauldron that I put Anything that is meaningful for me at the time, right now I've got acorns, which represent to me um, my baby and growing my new baby, um, protection, kind of gathering for him, that sort of thing. I also mentioned this in my altar tour video, and I keep a cloth on here for each season, so this is my Lamas or Lunasad cloth for this season. And up here I have my fairy altar, which with various trinkets and musical items and fairy dust. I've got this um, leprechaun jar for putting coins in there for money. And I also put four leaf clovers in there. 
I've had this little fairy since I was a child. This was a gift from a dear friend, a little tea set for fairies, little amethyst crystals, that sort of thing. So those are my three main altars here in this altar space that you can see. So that's my bedroom, our bedroom rather. Here's my studio across the hall. I've also got a studio tour, but I'll just give you a quick overview. This is where a lot of the videos actually happen. There's my planner. Um, over here on the side is where I set my oracle cards, tarot cards for while I'm working. I've got my, um, my books here, my art books, my easel, um, book binding supplies, yarn, more painting. I've got various shelves for art supplies and books and planners and all of that. I've got in here where I keep my paintings. There's my husband's um, piano back there, flower crowns, that sort of thing. Here's my backdrop for videos. And you can look out the window, it's really pretty. And here's my kitty, Jasper. <laughs> Hi, Jasper. He's my studio buddy, usually. All right, and then we'll head to the nursery. So I've also got a nursery tour video if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, this is the nursery, just an overview. Oh, this really, I love this. I love this mobile. Oh, it's so pretty. So, just kind of giving you an overview of the nursery here. And we'll also peek into the bathroom. Got another plant. This is my essential oil collection, Slay Mountain Rose, and I, I make these oils in my shop. So there's that, just an overview of the bathroom. And uh, I've been using candles a lot, so I make my own candles and I've got them in here for candlelit baths. All right, so that is my home tour video. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Check out these paintings on our way out. Goodbye.